Hey, Nicole here. All right, let's talk about our Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. How to seduce a Libra Sun, um, Moon, or Rising sign. Now, if you don't know your partner's uh, Sun, Moon, or Rising, go to the link I've included so you can figure it out. All right. Now, Libra. I am Libra. I'm our resident expert. I know I'm not trying to make the videos about me. I keep saying I'm that, I'm that, I'm that, but I am. So, uh, Libra energy, of course, I know this one well. My brother and I actually had the exact same birthday, so I know female version, male version. I was married to Libra for 13 years, so pretty familiar with Libra energy, and I have a daughter that's Libra. So, okay, now, Libra, this is an air sign. This means that Libras are in their mental they're in their place of logic. They like to think about things. They like ideas and abstract concepts. Libra is also a sign ruled by Venus. And now, the Libran version of Venus is different than Taurus. Taurus, Venus is very sensual in the physical body, okay? Eating and making love and like physically using the body, um, dancing, sculpting. T Libra is more they're more about appreciating beauty, appreciating art, appreciating the idea of the idealized forms of beauty, okay? Uh, they do love music and they love enjoying, and they love, they love dancing and creating art as well, but a Libra is more of an intellectual sign. Now, another thing with Libra, because this is this, this archetype of the scales, the symbol of the scales, um, there's a balance with Libras between the masculine and the feminine. Libra and females tend to feel a little bit strong and masculine, iron fist and a velvet glove. Libra and males tend to feel a little bit more feminine, a little bit more moody almost, you know, and they're uh, definitely, they like pretty things, okay? So Libra men's usually are, Libra men are kind of softies too, a lot of times. Um, now, Libra is a cardinal sign, so this is also somebody who is a go-getter. They like to start projects, they are ambitious, they like to be a, in charge in a sort of, they like to be, they're diplomatic, so they like to be negotiators maybe between parties um, or the one that is, uh, they like working with clients, that's actually one-on-one, -on -one. that's very Libran. Now, to seduce one of these people, what you need to do is you need to be the most cultured, worldly person you can be. Please just tell me, tell all of us Libras that you've stepped outside of your front door at least some at some point this year and that perhaps you own a few books and that maybe you listen to music and that maybe you appreciate art and maybe you think about things other than like just you know going to work every day and the mundane details of life because a Libra needs to be inspired they need to feel like there's more to life than just the day-to-day -day grind okay and the way that they get there is through uh, arts, through the arts many times, and through these concepts and ideas of love, relationship, relating to other people, and um, it's a little bit fantasy, it's almost a little bit Pisces, but but it really, it's true. So now, Librans, the what they love to do too, they love sharing ideas. Not in a Gemini way where you pick up the phone and like call your friend, oh my gosh, did you hear, oh my gosh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. okay, that's very Gemini. No. Libras are more like they like to curate. They like to find things, curate, and then they like to share them and spread them out to their friends, okay? Um, they also have a tendency to be, um, let's see, how do we say, um, not, I mean, because they are the scales. They like to have harmony, so sometimes they're people pleasers, right? So you want to be sure that you're uh, kind to them and kind to everybody you come in contact to contact with. They don't like rudeness, coarseness. If you're out to dinner and the waiter's a horrible waiter, they would prefer that you made a little joke out of it, made a little humor between the two of you, but didn't do anything to directly sort of be offensive to the waiter. Now, a different situation if somebody was being mistreated and there was like an underdog situation and you had the opportunity to stand up for this underdog, the Libran would think that was pretty awesome. So there's, you know, there's balance here. Um, what else can I tell you? All right, so most of the pop astrology books will tell you Libras are flirts, they're kind of vain, they're shallow, uh, etc. And that's true, they're that's the shadow side of Libra for sure. Uh, shadow side Libra female would be somebody who's just like super pretty, she's so pretty, but there's like not really, I mean, she's like really picky about things. She likes, she has like lots of friends, but um, like she doesn't really ever read a book. That would be your Libra that's spending a lot of her time on her external. Oh, and she's like, so has like the best melt in her hair and she's like has the best clothes. So that would be like, you know, the shadow side of Libra. She can be a little vain, a little shallow. Now the high side of Libra though, a Libra, typically a healthy one is going to appreciate beauty and they're like looking attractive, but they're actually somebody who has moved past just their own surface beauty and um, actually moved into, like we were talking earlier, the realm of sort of abstract beauty, 
being inspired, being inspiring. That's a true healthy Libra and that's how they'll operate. Uh, so you need to be doing the same. You need to be inspiring. You know, you need to be somebody that can appreciate the beauty of life and that can appreciate and see the beauty in other people um, and understand that even the ugliness in other people is part of the beauty of life, okay? Like a Libra loves the idea that everything is truly love, the oneness consciousness that everything really is, just love. Everything on earth, an illusion, right? This whole thing, that's very Libra or something that Libras, Libran, Libran type people's, Libran type people will, will uh, feel an affinity towards. So yeah, other than that, you know, with Libra, you're, you, uh, be classy, dress nice, do all that stuff that you're supposed to do anyway, right? And then on top of it, just be interesting, have a brain, be smart, have, be prepared for some interesting conversation, be willing to talk about anything and everything under the sun, and to analyze anything and everything, okay? That's quite Libran and do something to inspire, and you'll have them hooked. Okay.